All right, so if you got some extra clutter around the house this morning, listen up. We're going to show you how to get rid of it. We got Dorothy, the organizer. She's right here. Now, you may recognize her because she's also known to millions as the problem solver on the hit show Hoarders. We pulled the clip for you. There are several safety issues in this house. I thought it was just one or two mice, but there were far more mice than I ever thought there were in this house. We have got to get rid of some of this clutter. I know that. That's how we you are the one person who can either allow us to do it or completely stop us. Right. Okay. We're going to start in the living room, okay? okay. Everybody ready? Okay. All right. Off we go. Wow. Okay, Dorothy, what we see there on yeah. Hoarders is obviously <laughs> to the extreme, but yes. I think we're all probably guilty of collecting some stuff. Getting a little dust on it, and then especially at the end of summer. Bada boom, we've got a lot of clutter. Well, you've got five tips to help declutter our lives. So let's get started. Help me get my life back I together. I do, I do. So you, we often have good intentions in the summer. Uh -huh. We're gonna read a book at the hotel, yeah. on the plane, magazines. At the beach. Eh, it doesn't happen. So what I want you to do is go through that stack, pick one, and keep it on your bedside table. What Hold do you do the rest. with the rest of the stuff? Hold the rest in a to-read pile. For later on. Okay. All right. Um, goodbye stuff that we just buy on the fly. I am guilty of this. I'll buy some sunblock, then I'll forget it in the car. Then I stop at CVS, I buy some more, then I forget that one, and I buy some more, and it's like a vicious and cycle. And you're you're in another state or yeah. somewhere else. You're buying extra sunglasses. True. I want you to sort through, find what's broken, what's not. Yeah. They get scratched along the way. Oh, you look absolutely. These look adorable. good. Do you want to go ahead and give me these? You can Those take them off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> one down. I mean, we're all about decluttering, right? This is good. <laughs> eliminate and declutter, but go through it. Go around the house, collect all this stuff, and then start eliminating. You've got half a bottle left or less, let it go. You know, my mom always told me need versus want, especially when you're out and about shopping, which we'll get to that. But what is this as this, far as memorabilia? This is memorabilia. So, you know, I, we collect all the little tickets, yes. our airline flights. Oh, I love New York. Lip balm. Is this really memorabilia or is it stuff posing as memorabilia? So find a little place to keep all the goodies if you're going to keep it. You scared me there, Dorothy, yeah. because I've been with my boyfriend for five years. <laughs> I saved every little movie ticket that we've gone to, and it's in a pile in a box, so it's okay to keep it there. Absolutely. But keep it out of the way. Absolutely. Go through it. Don't just leave it in a pile somewhere. Put it somewhere where you're actually going to look at it and enjoy it sometime in the future. Yeah. Right? Okay. Good tip. Um, all right. So flea market sales, garage sales, really popular for folks who just want to get out and stretch their legs. Uh, there's a problem with that, though. End of summer. We, you know, we're looking at what we just bought along uh -huh. the side of the road when we were in Martha's Vineyard, and we come back with, oh my goodness, what is this? This is a, a malt shake maker from what? Because you, you need years this in your life, of, Not and really. you get it home and it doesn't match, <laughs> and you know, and and it doesn't hook up to anything. Okay. Do you really want to keep it? Right. Time to reassess what you really mm -hmm. got and see if you're going to keep these items or not. Would you say that it's best, just like I was saying, my mom always says need versus want when you go there. Do you need this? Is this your intention or do you just kind of want it because you want to just have it? Well, you, you can have it if you just want to have it if you have the space. Right. But if you don't, then you have to make some hard decisions. Rents are high. we got teeny tiny places here in Los Angeles. Absolutely. Um, okay, temporary toys. Oh, man, I'm so guilty. This is by my bed post and I, I don't even know where the charger is. We don't is. even carry it with us but you know we're again we forget our cords we yes. need headsets we have tripods we want to take those photos and so, what are we going to do yesterday <laughs> i'm guilty of all of this so we have you're freaking this. me out collect it all but here's something really sweet if you want to you can just grab something like an empty toilet paper okay. roll right put a label on it take the tripod or any of your cords and yeah. you can store it right and put it in a drawer and Easy, easy, simple. What about the binoculars? Are these like a must get rid of? Because, you know, you go on vacation. You might need them. You might, you might want not. Them, but keep them in your travel area. You know, you're either going to use them at concerts mm -hmm. or you're going to use them when you travel. So I keep a little travel space where I keep all of these, you know, um, converter plugs yeah. and. and and that's really the key so that you can find these things because like if you're planning a, a getaway right now you can't find it in your house or you can't see it because you hid it from yourself you, <laughs> you hid it from yourself I do that all the time. <laughs> you're probably going to go out and buy another pair and then you got two or three pair um, okay, so what do we have here? Well, first of all, I heard that you have some closet issues. I do have some closet issues. Do you want to take a look at my closet right now? This I morning, I snapped some take photos. A closet. I promise, <laughs> I was going to get it together. This is just one side ah. of my closet, Dorothy. What do you see? How can how well, can first, I get my life together? The first together? thing I want to say is you have beautiful colors in your closet. Oh, thank you. So 
kudos to that. And what you, tones. what you might want to do is organize by color. And okay. I see you have different kinds of, oh, the, shoes. Yeah, I know. Shoes. Organize the clothes by color, perhaps, yes. because that's easy to pull when they're all matched. Mm -hmm. And then get the same, you know, style hanger. That's the easiest thing to do to give it an aesthetic look. Same style hanger, is that just to give it a better look or is that like I'll actually be able to see some of the stuff? Because one of my issues that I have, I think, is I can't see some of the dresses that I have. Yes. Well, then then I have this particular product okay. that works. It's, this is called the 10 Minute Closet Organizer. How does it work? Okay. And this particular model is styled for people who have different sizes of clothing in their oh. closet, which is not you. But people go up and down the scale, right? So if you have clothes that are too big because you're dieting, right. you're coming down the scale, you're waiting for too small to get into these clothes, but you always want to focus on what fits now. They can make all the difference in the world. For more information on ways to clean out your clutter, as we look at my messy closet, head on over to our website, <laughs> boxla.com, for more of these tips. Dorothy, thank you for thank you. getting my life together. Vanessa. Yes, I like those little, you that you get it like that. Dividers. Yeah, I need that. And I'm going to just put that one dress that hasn't fit me forever and that never will, and I'll just put it with that little hanger on it.